Iko hapa mwenyewe. Iko wapi nduru ya Deputy President wetu? Unajua ndiye ananisaidiaga saa ile mnaniona nikija nikienda huko chochoro ndiye anakuwa amenituma. Na kwa hivyo nikija ninajua leo Mungu amewakumbuka. Na tupigie Mungu wetu makofi. Ya sifa shangwe na nderemo kwa Mungu wetu kwa sababu Mungu ni waajabu. And I wish to you a very happy new year 2024. You can clap for yourself. You have crossed the year and we are here once again blessed of God. I am here for something very little and it is to bring the word of hope to you in 2024. And I want to read from Genesis 39 from verse 19 and then we'll go to up to 40, uh, we will jump to 40 verse 3. When his master, we are reading about Joseph, tunataka kuongea mambo ya jera. Kwa sababu, sio njini tu mumekua jera, ata wakati nyezi hizo za Old Testament, agano la kwanza, watu walikuwa tu anaigia prison. Na agano jipi ya pia na wakati nyezi zetu bado watu wako kwa Jera. When his master heard the story of his wife, the wife told him, saying, This is how your slave treated me. He burned with anger. Joseph, Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. But while Joseph was in the prison, the Lord was with him. Say the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of prison wonders. So the wonder put Joseph in charge of all those held in prison. And he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to any um, the warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Some time later, the cup bearer and the work and the baker of the king of Egypt offered offended their masters the king of Egypt. Then Pharaoh was angry with the, his two officials, the chief cup bearer and the chief baker, and put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in the same prison where Joseph was. We jump now to 40, chapter 40, verse 14 and 15. But when all goes well with you, remember me. This was Joseph talking to the people he had interpreted the dream. He told them, Mukienda, oki mukitoka hapa, musinisahau. But when all goes well with you, remember and show me kindness. Mention me to the Pharaoh and get me out of the prison. I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews. Even here, I have done nothing to deserve being put in a dungeon. May God bless his word. Amen. There are two kinds of prison. There is a prison which is in a mindset of somebody. And there is a physical prison like the one we are in. Kuna Jela ya mawazo. 
ambako wewe mwenyewe unakaa na unafikiria watu hawakupendi jela ambayo unajiingiza mwenyewe na mawazo yako and because of your mindset you dis, di, you continue to depress and to frustrate yourself with things that other people may not even know you are thinking and because you are a prisoner of those thoughts you make wrong decisions and when you make those wrong decisions you find yourself in a physical prison like this one there are many reasons that you can bring you to this prison there are those who are here we hear joseph was innocent people gave lies and the wife of potiphar brought lies and schemed and conspired and brought this young man to prison the other reason that you find this young man joseph in prison was because of the anger of the boss we are also told they were the baker the cup bearer they were also brought to prison because their master was angry with them so anger can also bring somebody behind bars and i know many of you may have committed crime when you are angry so learn to control your emotions speak to your brother and your sister next there tell them run to control your emotions the other thing that can bring somebody into prison is real law breaking those people who sit they plan they are just criminals they love to do wrong things and therefore they break the law and they are caught and they are brought here many of us who are out there it's only they are not caught but some of them are in that category but when they are caught they are brought and they stay with you around here the other reason that would bring somebody is to prison and stay there is the service providers like we have the prison wonders who come to take care of you those who cook for you they are also behind the bars not because they have committed crime but because they have to serve somebody behind the bars and the last one there are those ones god has commanded that we come and visit you in prison we are not behind the bars because we have committed any crime today even those ones who get you here they are inside prison you can see them here the police the cid all of them the security team are behind bars today you can see the doors are locked and we are inside here your deputy president your county <laughs> governor they are all here because god has commanded us to come and visit you let me tell you about prison we hear that when joseph was in prison god was with him say god is in prison actually god dwells in prison if you didn't know know now we are told god was with joseph god was with God was with Joseph. and if you can put your name there you can say God was with Amen. God was with Amen. yes God was with Joseph in prison never imagine and never lose hope in this new year because you are alive God is with you even here in prison God is found in prison in fact in Matthew 25 verse 36 God Jesus speaking said I needed clothes and you did not clothe me I was sick and you did not come after me I was in prison and you did not come to visit me so God's presence is always found in prison because God is omnipresent speak to your neighbor tell them God is omnipresent So never doubt that God is with you even when we make mistakes even when we are condemned wrongly or rightly 
God is with us. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. When you go to prison, God will come with you there. And the only thing God wants you to do is to be aware that God is where you are. And start to hear the voice of God and have a mindset that wants to change and to be transformed. Joseph, when he was in prison, he continued to do the right thing. And we find he finds favor with the wardens. And when he found favor with the wardens, the wardens did not bother what Joseph was doing. He, they did not care because Joseph was faithful and accountable. And therefore they allowed him to be in charge of all the prisoners and whatever was there in prison. How I pray that when you are in this correction center, you will allow yourself and your mindset to change. You will have a trajectory that takes you onto divine alignment. You will be transformed and you will come back to us better people. Say so we are coming out. The next thing that you must know when you are in prison, it is a place of transformation. It is a correction center. It's not a place of punishment. It is a place where you are given time to think, rethink, reflect, and be able to know that you need to change the way you do things. In atakikana unabadilisha mawazo yako ukiwa ndani ya jera. Saingine unaletwa hapa ndio Mungu aweze kubadilisha mawazo yako na kukuondoa haya mawazo mabaya akuweke mazuri na uanze kuona mambo katika vision ya Bwana. Amen. Kwa hivyo tukija hapa tunajua we don't condemn you we just come here to encourage you and to tell you God is is with you and as a government you have seen the deputy president is here the president is working day and night to see that their your conditions are changing and this becomes correctional centers where when you come out you become productive people amen That Joseph was very responsible in prison and he became a leader. So in here, you can be taught, and I know many of you are already doing degrees right here in this prison. Many of you have gotten theological degrees in this prison. You are, doing, you are being skilled here. I want you to pay attention and to focus. By the time you live here, you will come and you become responsible and impactful citizens. We are looking forward, my boy children. Nidi wapi antawaita hivyo tu kwa sababu mimi ni mama. And I love you and I'll not stop loving you. Usema nitawafuata tu kwa sababu mimi ni chombo Mungu anatumia. So you may not see God but you will see us. So we have come so that God may speak to you and tell you God loves you. Just like he was in prison with Joseph, so is he today with you. The last thing I want to discuss with you is that this God is a God of remembrance. Amen. 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 He's a God of remembrance and he's a God who gives somebody a second chance. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, Joseph was in there. And yes, Joseph was lonely confined. Aliwekelewa, wengi wanasema waga wanawekelewa. Kila siku nikiwauliza, kila mtu wamewekelewa. Sindio? Wangapi wamewekelewa? <laughs> kila mtu amewekelewa. Lakini tuko wapi? Kwa jela. Kwa hivyo lazima, na sisi tuwanyeshane tabia mzuri, mawazo mazuri na tuanze kufikiria vile tukitoka hapa tutakuwa uh, uh, citizen wema raia wema mkitoka msiwekelewe tena tuko pamoja 
My boys are we together? My women we inmates are we together? Yes, there is a God who is visiting you. There is a God who will remember you. He remembered Joseph. And imagine somebody alikuwa amekelewa kama nyinyi. Alikuwa amekelewa kama nyinyi. Na mambo yakabadilika. Kwa sababu alipofika jela alibadilisha mawazo na kufanya mambo ambaye ilikuwa ni sawa na Mungu akamkumbuka akiwa Paris. Hata nyinyi mmekumbukwa. Si kila siku mnaona deputy president Kenyolo. Ni kila siku. Mjumesha ikumbua na huku. Na je, si Mungu ametukumbuka na tupigia Mungu wetu makofi? When he was remembered, he had matured. Aliingia jela akiwa mtu wa kuota ndoto. Alipokuwa jela, alibadilika akawa mtu wa kutafsiri ndoto. Na hapo ndio alikuwa amebadilishiwa cheo na kutoka kuota akaamuka akaanza kutafsiri na alipotafsiri akatoka jela akaingia huko kwa farao na akawa prime minister there is a chance for you maybe you come out better than when you came out in here pande hii naona kama watu hawakubali na neno la bwana kuna shida gani pande hii God is going to give you a second chance and God is going to change your life. It may be difficult now, but this is 2024 and God is doing a new thing. This is the first day of January 2024. Na serikali yote imejaa hapa. Hivyo ni kusema kuna mabadiliko katika ulimwengu wa roho. Na haya mabadiliko yatabadilika kwa ulimwengu wa physical. Amen. I came to encourage you and to tell you as a mother and as a priest things are going to change. But you must change your mind. You must determine to be transformed and when you are transformed you become like Joseph when he came out he changed the lives of many people in the world see misri peke yake alipeana mawazo ambayo ilifanya whole countries to be saved and i believe you are the potential that god has kept here when you come out you will change the economy of Kenya. Amen. When you come out, you will change the lives of your families. Amen. Your communities shall be changed by you. Amen. I prophesy for you. Amen. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Amen. It shall be well even with your families. Amen. When you come out, we will welcome you. Amen. When you come out, we will love you again. This is my desire for you and this is my prayer for you that you know year 2024 is a new beginning for you God bless you God honor you